During a disaster, you're going to want to be able to cook boil water, and you may not have a lot of materials around. I don't know who came up with this idea, but it's a very clever idea. It's making a stove out of two Coke cans, and you don't need anything at all to put the thing together. A pair of scissors, a black magic marker or some kind of marking device, a ruler, a little pin, stapler, and anything really that you can use as a guide to establish the height of your stove as you bring it around. And I'll show you how to make it. But they work very, very well. And let's get on with it. The first thing that we're going to want is two cans that are in pretty good shape that aren't, aren't dented up. Okay? The first thing we're going to do is establish our height of our stove. And I'm just using, in this instance, a 2x4 and a marker. And I'm just going to put the marker on the side of it and turn the can and establish Once you've done that, another good idea, by the way, is to rinse these cans because there's going to be syrup in them, and when you cut into them, they're going to get all over you. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take a ruler, and I'm going to measure up the height of the stove of that mark that I just did. All right. And then I'm going to add a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to use this section right here and I'll, I'll show you what we're going to do. Try to find a space on your, your can that has a straight line and you're going to mark across that straight line just like that and then this distance plus a quarter of an inch and you'll see more about that in a minute. It, it'll make more sense to you. So in my case I have one and a half inches for the stove and then I have one and three quarter inches for this chimney or the band at the top. This will be the base of our stove. So what I do is I take a utility knife and I cut just above my line a little bit. Okay. Now using a pair of scissors, I simply go around my line. sandpaper and, and knock that off. You don't want to get cut with that. Okay. Taking your other can, where you're just going to put it in here and try to just gently elongate it. Just kind of stretching it out a little bit. All right, set that to the side. <clears throat> and let's cut this line also now. Make sure that we don't go into this. And I'll show you what that's all about in a minute. your edges off. Set that <clears throat> now remember this mark right here? Let's cut straight up that line that we had. Some kind of a marking on the uh, can itself. It has a straight line somewhere hopefully. Okay. And then just cut above your mark. See how I'm cutting above, above that mark? And here's an 
unique trick about this. Because we had marked on either side of the line, I can take my ruler and line up my two marks now. And go right on down. Cut those two lines. It doesn't take very long to make one of these. Okay, this is our base. Take your chimney now, and inside you'll see that there's a, a groove. See, I'm going to put it in this groove right here. See that? And that's about right, right there. Now I'm going to put a staple in that to hold it in. With our band, we're going to cut two little notches for the alcohol to flow through, one on each side. Just like that. Take your chimney and place it inside this groove right here. Okay, now what we have to do is score around this. And this takes some time. Just be careful and go around it, around it, around it, around it, deeper and deeper and deeper. Don't get cut. And this will pop out. Let's see what I mean here in a minute. Alright, I scored it multiple times around it, and now it's just kind of remove it. And this is the top of our stove. Again, just kind of, you don't want to get cut, so it's kind of sand off the sharp edges. Okay, with our centerpiece in the bottom, we're going to take the top and place it inside the base. And you may have to crinkle this just a tad bit to get the fit. Like so. And just push it, push it down. You should end up with something like that. Okay. Again, take your sandpaper and get rid of all your sharp edges because you don't want to get cut. The next thing we're going to do is take our little uh, tack and we're going to put 16 holes around this edge here. And the way they do it is they go um, one side directly across the other side, one side directly across the other side, and then they divide all that and it'll turn out to be 16 little holes. And you just take your pin and pop it in. Just like that. Then we'll go across to the other side. And we'll keep doing it.
This is our little soda can alcohol stove. Finished. I sanded it so you're not going to get cut. And then just using rubbing alcohol with at least 70%. Go ahead and put just a little bit in there. There you go. A fantastic little stove. Costs you nothing. Super light. You can throw it in your backpack or in your glove box. And you'll always have a way to heat some food. A good way to do this also is if you have three cans. Okay? One and one. You can put your uh, pot on top of it. Do I have anything that would even remotely... For example, if you had three like this a little bit lower, you could put your pot right over it. And cook. 